Hello, in this video we're going to do a supply and demand problem where we place a tax on a market where the supply curve is perfectly inelastic or vertical. Our market demand and our market supply. Before taxes, we're going to set quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied to find the equilibrium price and quantity. So setting those two equations equal to one another and solving for price. Subtracting 66 from both sides. And then get, getting rid of the minus signs on both sides. And dividing through by 2, the equilibrium price is $23. And plugging that $23 back into the demand equation, we can see that quantity demanded is 20, which equals the quantity supplied of 20. So our equilibrium quantity is 20. Now in the case of taxes, same market demand, same market supply. We're going to place a tax on sellers of $5 per unit. So with the tax, the price that sellers receive, P subscript S, equals the price that buyers pay, minus the tax that sellers submit to the government. So again, the price that sellers receive, net of taxes, will equal what the buyers pay for the product, minus the tax the sellers submit to the government. So here's our quiet demand equation, and we're going to recognize the price that buyers pay is P subscript B, and we're going to set that equal to our supply equation. And dividing through by 2, the price that buyers pay with the tax is $23, the same price they paid when there was no tax in this market. As for sellers, the sellers receive this $23, and then the sellers submit a tax to the government, of $5, leaving the seller's net of taxes of $18. Quantity demanded is unchanged, still 20. The entire $5 tax is paid by sellers in the form of a lower price. The more inelastic side of the market pays most of the tax. So in this case, in particular, the perfectly inelastic side of the market, the supply side, will pay the entire tax. All right, I will stop here. 